Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to recap the Bengals' 34-31 loss at the hands of the New York Jets. The loss drops the Bengals uh, to a 5-3 record and they are now back in second place in the AFC North. I tried to talk myself out of this being a trap game, but it had all the ingredients of being such. This is the third straight road game. They were coming off a huge emotional win at Baltimore. And the Jets had been were destroyed last week by the Patriots. So this game had the makings of a matchup where the Bengals, you know, would come in feeling like all they would have to do is show up and, you know, not have to earn this victory. And uh, sure enough, uh, second string quarterback Mike White comes in there, throws for four, throws for 400 yards, does whatever he wants, and. To me, what I saw was a guy who was able to just have his way on the sideline routes and passes up the middle. And to be honest, I really didn't like the Bengals' approach uh, defensively. It looked like they were playing a lot of zone. Um, they missed some tackles. They were going for big hits and strip sacks and strip tackles and things like that. Did not care for that at all. Um, offensively, Burrow had a big day, although he had a very, very crucial mistake at the end. Um, the usual suspects played well, except for Joe Mixon, who was really had, held in check by the Jets' defense, which was not known for being a strong suit whatsoever. So that was surprising and disappointing to see. Um, but the Bengals had a late lead, uh, blew it. Burrow had the costly turnover, like I mentioned, and... A, play, a really defining play at the end was they had the Jets stopped on third down and it looked like they were going to get the ball back, but they called a penalty on, my, on Mike Hilton that myself and others really did not see. Um, they said he lowered his head into the defender. I don't know what he was supposed to do in that situation. I hate that call. I hate games coming down to calls like that. Gave the Jets a first down and they were able to just run the clock down and win the game. So to me, that call is not why they lost the game. The Bengals absolutely deserve to lose this game based on their their performance. They just did not show up. They took the Jets for granted. Um, but again, that call, it, it's frustrating in that moment to see because I don't know what they expected Mike Hilton to do in that moment. Um, I just hate it when, when, when games are played and you got a you know, physical back and forth affair and it's just you know, judgment calls, that's it's just a tough way to go down. Now, you know, do they come back and win if that call doesn't happen? We'll never know. But, it, again, let me explain. I don't think that's why they lost the game. But, um, anyway, so 5-3 and three record, uh, good opportunity to be 6-2, and two, but that didn't happen. What they have now is a crucial AFC North matchup next Sunday at Paul Brown Stadium against the Cleveland Browns, who are coming off – of a disappointing loss of their own against the Steelers. So this is going to be a big, big game. And if if I'm assuming that this past week of practice was maybe not as intense, uh, this is a big time wake up call. So I expect a spirited week of practice. I expect adjustments to be made. And defensively, these guys are embarrassed. I think they're better than this. So this might just be what they need. Uh, I, I hate that they're looking for mo motivation, you know, given the fact that they made the playoffs in two th since 2015. But sometimes you just need a swift kick in the ass and a quick trip back to reality. So I expect them to adjust, and I think next week's performance will be better against Cleveland. Not saying they'll win necessarily, but I don't. I think some of these mistakes will happen again. But anyway, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. Until next time. Bye.